Okay, so it's another great morning. Oh, wow. I forgot to do the five rules. So I... All right, so now I know that you are done copying number eight, right? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take you to a new page, okay? So there you go. Shh. Hush, babies, hush. There you go. And so what we have to do is we have to factor, okay? And let me change colors because red is not good. You have to factor completely. And what was the equation? Let me go back. Uh-oh, how come it doesn't let me go back? Because I didn't write anything there. Okay. This is, there you go. 48x squared minus 243. Okay. 48x squared minus 243. Okay, guys, so when you see something like this, you got to remember, okay, that you can actually... When you see the word factor, what did I say? In the end, what do you have to be able to see? Hmm? In the end, what are you supposed to see? If you see a word like factor. <laughs> no, you're supposed to see. Huh? No, not the zeros. You're supposed to see the parentheses, okay? When you see the word factor, in the end, you should have parentheses, okay? So then what that means is you got to do the big X, okay? So, of course you can do the big X. Let's try using the big X method, okay? So what number is supposed to go on top? 48. Yeah, we have to put 48 times negative 243 over here. What number goes at the bottom? Zero, because there is no number next to the X. So you can already see that just this number alone, if you multiply it and put it on top, it's just going to be so big, right? So do you want to use this method? No. I don't want to. Okay, if you want to, go ahead. Keep going, okay? But I would not, okay? And that's why we have the formula, right? And this is called the difference of two squares, okay? So let me go ahead and just give you the formula right here. A squared minus B squared equals... A plus B times A minus B. Okay? All right. So then what we have to do now is find out what is A and what is B. Now, this is called the difference of two squares. And usually what I do is I make students memorize this. I don't have a song for this. And I don't have a body movement for this. You just have to straight out memorize it. And then I put you on blast by making you go to the front, stare at the window at the door, turn around, and then I ask you the formula and you have to say it. It's because I don't want you cheating and sometimes you make eye contact with your friends and get the information, right? But I'm not going to do that to you because we don't have time. Okay, so then let's just pay attention so you don't have to go through the agony. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try and simplify by figuring out, can we divide both 48 and 243 by the same number? What number can we divide both 48 and 243 by? Two. Two, no, because you cannot divide 243 by two. What other number? Okay, so I think I can divide both by 3. So I'm going to pull out the 3. When I say pull out the 3, that means I'm going to divide this by 3, and I'm going to divide that by 3. Okay? So 48x squared divided by 3 is going to be 1, and then 6. So that's 16x squared, right? And then what's negative 243 divided by 3? That's negative 81. Wow, I'm so excited. Everybody's answering me so great today. All right. So then now what we're going to do is we're going to remember that we pulled out the 3, so we keep the 3. Now inside the parentheses is when we start applying the formula that I just gave you, okay? To make it look a little bit cleaner, okay, I'm going to go ahead and draw a line over here, okay? So here's the formula, a squared minus b squared equals a plus b times a minus b. And some of you are going to get mad at me because you like being super organized, right? And you don't like the way Ms. Troy wrote it like this. So I'm going to go ahead and just properly write it for you. Yes. Yes. Hmm? Okay, what did I say? Okay, so let's try and think. What did I say when we pulled out the three? 
What did I ask everybody? Because somebody answered two and I said no, right? <laughs> Yes, I said what goes into 48 and 243, okay? Both numbers can be divided by 3. That's why I pulled out the 3. You got to pull out the biggest common factor, okay? So now we're going to apply the difference of 2 squared. So 16x squared happens to be what? A squared. So you know what? I like to organize it like this. A squared is equal to 16x squared. And then guess what? I'm going to leave the negative alone because look, that's part of the formula, isn't it? And then I'm just going to look at 81. And so 81 is what? According to this formula, b squared. And then I'm going to try and find out what a and what b is, because then now I'm going to have my answer, right? Oh, yeah. It's going to be so easy. OK. So if a squared is 16x squared, what do you think is going to be a? In other words, OK? Absolute silence. I don't like this. Okay, so a squared means what? A times a, right? So 16x squared means what times what? Which two same numbers and letters do you have to multiply? Yes, yes. Ah, yes! It is 4x. Yeah, yes, you should all clap for him. Okay, now let's take a look at b squared. b squared is equal to 81. So b squared is the same as? B times B, right? So 81 is the same as what times what, guys? Ah, oh, yes! Okay, let me calm down. I know you. there's too much excitement right now. Yes, excellent. That is very good. Okay, so now what do we know? A is now what? 4X, and B is now what? 9. How do we figure this out? Because A times A is 4X times 4X, right? And B times B is 9 times 9. All right, so then now we're just going to plug it into the formula. A is 4X and B is 9. Okay, so it's 3. And then open up my parentheses. A was what? 4X. So it's 4X plus 9. 4X minus 9. And oh my goodness, we are done. Okay, so I hope that was not confusing for you at all. I'm going to wait like one minute so you can finish copying this down. And then, of course, it's your turn. Okay, I appreciate you all learning so hard right now. I wish you could do this every single day. Maybe the questions were too easy, huh, until today? Okay, so now let's go back. Are we ready? Are you ready for a practice question? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Don't say no ever. Okay, so now you're going to work on this question. You see the 8B right here? I want you to go ahead and factor this one. 2X squared minus 242. And raise your hand. I'll come help you. And you do this while the music's playing. Okay, guys, so let's move on to the next question, which is right here. Question number 9, okay? I need you to copy number 9. Which of the following shows 7x squared minus 16x minus 15 factored completely? Now, this is something that we already did in class, okay? So, all you have to do is try and remember. Number 9. 7x squared minus 16x minus 15 factored completely. Make sure you copy every single word, okay? Because I am giving it to you exactly the same, okay? I am, except for the numbers, right? I'm just changing. Instead of the 7 that I gave you here, the test might have another number. Instead of the negative 16, the test might have another number. Instead of the negative 15, the test might have another number. But everything else is exactly the same. Okay, if you study the stuff that I give you every single day, everybody should pass. And in my math one class, I already told them what my goal is, right? Zero Fs, because I have a very smart uh, freshman class this year. It's going to be my first time ever that actually happens. They're going to make my dream happen. All right, so anyhow, let's go. In this class, though, you know my dream. Okay, 7x squared. 7x squared. 7x squared. <laughs> minus 16x minus 15 and this is what we are trying to factor completely and you already know how to do this right so let's go ahead and move on to the right hand side I'm going to draw my line and let's draw the big x okay what number goes on top 
7 times negative 15 goes on top. So what's 7 times negative 15? Come on. Good job. Negative 105. Okay, I saw some of you working, but let's give you the answer first. Okay. So now what number is supposed to go at the bottom? Are you supposed to put 16x? Negative Just the number, negative 16, okay? Negative 16. Don't forget the symbol, but very good. You guys are paying attention. All right, so then now let's take a look. Okay. What times what is going to be negative 105, and what plus what is going to be negative 16? Dun, dun, dun. Okay, wait, so let's do the factor tree, okay? 105 is 1 times 105. Can you do 2? No, it has to be 5. So it's 5 times 21. Oh my goodness, Andrew's so smart. Okay, so it's 5 times 21. But because this was negative 105, one of the two numbers have to be negative, right? Okay, so which number... Which number is going to be negative? Okay, the 21 has to be a negative, okay? So, because when we add the two numbers, we have to follow the symbol for the smaller number. So, we're going to have 5 and then negative 21. Because when we have different symbols, we're going to subtract. 21 minus 5 is 16. And then we follow the symbol for the bigger number. That's how we got the negative 16. Now we're going to do the fraction bar. And then what are we going to put on top? We're going to put the 7 on top. And what are we going to put at the bottom? We're going to put the 5 and the negative 21. So then now, what did I say you have to do next? You have to simplify if you can, right? 7 and 5 cannot be simplified. 7 and 21, yes. You could divide top and bottom by 7. So yes, it's going to be 1 over negative 3. What letters are we playing with? X, okay? So I'm going to put X on top. So then I have 7X plus 5. And then I have X minus 3. Okay? And we are done. And so again, the reason why I'm giving you big numbers is because on your test, I always gave you small numbers. But on the final, I noticed that they give you big numbers. Okay? And so you have to make sure that you know how to do this for sure. All of my students know how to do the steps. It's just that they don't know, you know, how to work with bigger numbers. Right? So we are done, and now here's your practice question, okay? Ready? Go. Okay, so now let's take a look at our very last question that we're going to work on. Please copy question number 10 right here, okay? It's right here, number 10, multiply. So don't forget to copy the exact wording as well, okay? And copy this question right here, okay? So again, there will be no surprises. Mr. is really busy these days doing parent conferences, right? So please make sure that your parents come talk to me right now if you're having problems. So I can talk to them about the problems that I'm having too. You don't remember doing this? Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, at the beginning of the semester, you don't remember. Okay, so there you go, 3x plus 7y. Times? Oh, that's right. And then x squared minus 2xy. Uh-oh. Where's my question go? And then plus 6y squared. Hey, guys, what did I say? Shh. Okay, so we have to multiply this. Okay. Okay. So do not tell me that it, you don't remember how to multiply this. Remember how I said I like the box method? Yeah. And so, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and draw my line over. Well, actually, I don't even have to. Let me just do all my work down here underneath my red line. Okay? 
So the only thing I have to do is draw a box, but we have to decide how many boxes, right? So I look over here and I see one, two terms. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create one, two rows. Okay, one, two, one, two, you see that? I created one row for what? 3x, and then I created another row for plus 7y. Okay, and then now I look over here again and I see one, two, and three terms, right? So that means I gotta create how many columns? Three. Three. Please do not tell me you don't remember this. I'm about to get mad, okay? That's true. That's why we have this weird relationship, right? If you had me from the beginning, you would actually like me a little bit. Okay, plus 6y squared, right? There you go. And so since there's three terms, you put the three, create the three columns, and then you put the three terms on top. You did this. Try and remember, you did this. Okay, so then now what are we doing? Don't fight me. Okay, so if you didn't do it, you're doing it now. Okay, so let's go ahead and multiply inside. Okay, shh, hush babies, calm down. So look, x squared times 3 is very simple. All you have to do is multiply the numbers first, okay? The number here is 3, the number here is, if you can't see it, it's a 1. So what's 3 times 1? 3. Yeah, and then you multiply the letters together, okay? So x squared times x, what is it? X cubed. X cubed, yeah, okay, it's not 3x, it's x cubed. You got it, babies, okay? Now let's keep going, all right? So now it's going to be this number, I mean this term and that term. Let's do the numbers first. Negative 2 times 3 is? Good job. So I'm going to put negative 6, and then now I see x and I see x. What's x times x? Yeah. And then I see a y here, but no y means a 1. So y times 1 is? Y, just a y, okay? All right, so let's keep going. I don't have to explain it anymore, right? So 6 times 3 is 18. Good job. I think you guys are so getting this, okay? So it's positive 18. And then I have x, but no x here. So it's like x times 1, right? So it's going to be x. And then y squared times, there's no y here. So it's going to be? y squared, okay? I didn't make my cells big enough. There you go, now let's do the next three bottom cells, okay? So, seven times one is going to be? Seven. Seven, and then x squared times, there's no x here, so that means a one. What's x squared times one? x squared. You guys are all quiet because you're doing it on your own, huh? So I'm gonna try and catch up with you and, and just do it. Seven times negative two is? Negative 14. And then x times, there's no x, so that means it's x times 1. So it's x. y times another y is going to be, yeah, good job, y squared. Okay? Now let's keep going. 6 times 7 is? Oh no, I didn't hear a 42, but that's okay. And then I see no x's anywhere. I have y squared times y is going to be? Yeah, good job. So then remember this, once we are done filling all the squares in, we gotta combine like terms. To do that, we're just looking for the same letters and same exponent, okay? Let me repeat myself. Same letter, same exponent. So let's look for this. Do we see an x cubed anywhere inside the boxes? No. So I'm just going to go ahead and write my answer. Okay? Here's my answer. I'm back to my question. This is my work down here underneath the red line, okay? So it's equal to 3x cubed because there was no other x cubed, okay? Now let me go back to my workspace, okay? I see, wow, x squared y. Do you see an x squared y here? Yeah. x squared y? Oh, dang, I see it right here. Don't you see it? I see it right here. You see that? So then what are we going to do? I'm just going to go ahead and copy first over here. X squared Y because that's the last name. I told you family last names don't change. And then, shh. And now I'm going to add the numbers at the front. The negative 6 plus the 7. What's negative 6 plus 7? 
one. Am I going to write one here? No. No, but I'm going to put plus because this is a positive, not a negative. Okay. Now let's move on to the next um, what is it? Term. And let's take a look at the variable. We need the same variable with the same exponents, right? So I see an x y squared. Do you see an x y squared? There you go. I see an xy squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put xy squared over here. Well, let's first calculate. we got to calculate to see if it's plus or minus, right? Let's take a look at the number at the front. This one is 18. And what is this? 14. Negative 14. So what's 18 plus negative 14? 4. Positive 4, right? Yeah. So I'm going to have to put positive 4. Get it? And then finally, I think I only have one left. Okay. Ooh, y to the third power. Do you see y to the third power anywhere else in here? No. So you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and copy the whole thing. And I am done. That took a long time, but you actually learned it. You just remembered today. Be honest, didn't you? Okay. I know. That's why I'm telling you the final made it a little bit intense. Okay? Yes, you can so do it. And so you're going to solve the last question until the bell rings. I'm going to play the music for you, okay? There you go. Last question. 10B multiply right there. Copy it. Did you copy it? Okay, so now let's go. I'm going to play the music. Just raise your hand. Okay, ready? Go. Hold on, hold on.